Thanks for joining us. Julie has a night off. The family of a woman shot and killed by a Minneapolis police officer announced today they are suing the city and the department. Justine Damon's family is seeking at least $50 million in damages. Care 11's Danny Spiewak talked with their attorney. He's live in downtown Minneapolis with our top story. Danny. Well, Randy, the lawsuit lays blame on Officer Noor for firing the shot that killed Justine Damon in South Minneapolis last year. But the lawsuit also makes specific allegations that Noor and his partner made a, quote, conscious decision not to turn on the body cameras before the shooting, which the lawsuit claims hindered the investigation. Officer Mohammed Noor already faces charges of third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. And now in a civil lawsuit, the family of Justine Damon accuses him of federal civil rights violations. We waited a year to find out what happened to uh, Justine in that alley, her, her father and family, and it's time to file it. Family attorney Robert Bennett says Noor used unreasonable force when he shot and killed Damon after she'd called 911 to report a possible sexual assault. Noor's attorneys have indicated they'll claim self-defense, and Noor's partner, Matthew Harity, has told investigators he perceived a threat that night. But the civil lawsuit accuses both officers of harming the investigation by not turning on their body cameras before the shooting. We have this historic and systemic uh, failure to properly use the $8 million evidence gathering tool the body worn camera for that very purpose. The lawsuit says it resulted in a nightmare come to life. Without the evidence, the MPD ordered its officers to collect and wear. As a consequence, those same officers are free to speak or not speak with impunity. The lawsuit also accuses former police chief Janae Harteau and current police chief Madera Arredondo, who was the acting assistant chief at the time of not enforcing the body camera policy. And the suit blames department leaders for, quote, a deficient screening and hiring policy, putting dangerously unqualified officers on the street. If you get spooked, like Harity says, without being able to articulate any reason for that, uh, you're in the wrong job. Now, Robert Bennett also represented the family of Philando Castile, and they got a $3 million settlement with St. Anthony out of that case. But uh, Bennett said today the city of Minneapolis has not discussed any type of settlement with them at this point. We did get a statement from the city attorney in Minneapolis late this afternoon. They are reviewing this lawsuit, the civil suit, and they will respond to it, the city attorney says. But they have to be careful because there are criminal proceedings as well, as we mentioned. Randy, back to you. All right. Thank you, Danny.